I have kind of a, an interesting theory about the way that dreams work, or actually more like about the way that your brain interprets dreams. And I've never heard anyone else say it. So the theory is as follows. When you are in the midst of a dream, your brain will kind of act like an improv group. <laughs> so let me see what, if I can explain what I mean. So an improv group, when they're doing improv with each other, they have this rule where they have to always say yes and. Like if someone presents an idea, like someone says, oh, we're standing on top of a really high hill. The other people have to just accept that. They can't just say, no, we're not. I don't want to stand on top of a high hill. I want to stand in the middle of a military base. No, that would be breaking the improv, you know, breaking the flow. So everyone's just supposed to say, yes, yes, we are. And picture that and accept that. And then they have to add to it. They say, yes, and there's a monster up there. And everyone just has to accept that. No one can say no to that. Because if they say no, then they ruin the improv. That's the way that improv works. I think that the way dreams work is that when your brain, when you're in a dream, your brain works in kind of a similar way, except like even more pronounced. It's like improv on drugs almost. So in a dream, occasionally you might run into something that's strange or that's unexplainable. Like you might run into a giant hole in the wall for no reason whatsoever. If you run into that in real life, what your brain would do is try to think of a reasonable explanation for why that why that's the case, right? Well, why is there a hole in the wall? There wasn't a hole in the wall like a, yesterday, and now there's a hole in the wall. Why is there a hole in the wall? And like, could it be that maybe someone broke into my house or something? Could it be that maybe, you know, it would start, start considering the options and trying to weigh which one is the correct option, and then eventually it would come to a, a conclusion, Maybe not even a conclusive conclusion because like new information might make a, the conclusion null, but it would come to a sort of conclusion after like weighing the options. But in a dream, what your brain would do is it would, it would, instead of doing that, it would just start with the first explanation it comes to and then it would just run with that. Why is there a hole in the wall? Obviously, because the neighbor is mad at me because he because I went in and stole his Nintendo and then gave it to my kid instead of giving it to his kid, and now he's mad at me, and, they, and so he went over to like some store and bought an extremely powerful gun, and that gun wasn't in existence before, but there was like some kind of like weird thing that the government issued out these guns to this particular store, and he bought that thing, and then he shot it at the, at the wall, and then like uh, that's why there's a hole in the wall. Right, your brain will come up with whatever, and it will just run with it. Like it won't even question the explanation whatsoever at all. And uh, I guess uh, the, the reason that I think this is like I actually experienced a dream where this happened. So uh, this was actually a half dream. I was lying down on the couch, and uh, I was about to fall asleep. But I wanted to uh, go take a piss in the bathroom before I went to sleep because I didn't want to have to wake up and do it later. And so I was thinking about, like, I got to get up. But I was very tired and very sleepy and about to fall asleep. So I thought, I got to get up and go to the bathroom before I, I go to sleep. But then I fell asleep and I fell into a dream. But I didn't realize I was in a dream. And so in the dream, I got up and I was in the same place. Same place, same details, everything was the same. Walked into the bathroom, tried to go in the first bathroom, which was down the hall, but it was locked. And it was almost weird. It was almost like someone on the other end was preventing me from going into that bathroom. And so I walked further down the hall to the uh, master bedroom where the other bathroom was. And then I opened the door. And then instead of a toilet, there's just on the floor, there is an X made with two two by fours. And then I thought, why the hell? Where the hell is the toilet? And immediately, immediately my brain was like, oh yeah, we're moving. That's why the toilet's not here, because we're moving. Because it's probably in the, in the moving truck. And that was immediately. And then I didn't even question that. I just knew that that was the case. And then, at that point, uh, I actually woke up. I woke up from the dream and then like um, realized that I was dreaming and then realized that that was really weird that I thought that. Like, it was, it was really weird that my first, the first explanation that I could come up with was that. And that, that made sense to me. 
it didn't make sense to me at all in real life, but it made sense in the dream. Uh, and then I like I kind of realized that the reason I wasn't able to get into either bathroom or to a toilet in either of those dreams was because my body realized that I was sleeping, and if I was sleeping, I wasn't supposed to piss. You know, I wasn't supposed to pee because then I would, you know, sleep pee. I would wet the bed, right? So it made it impossible for me to find the toilet. That's at least that's my explanation now. But anyways, that is all I have to say about this, I guess. Your brain will immediately interpret a situation in a dream and create an explanation on the fly. And sometimes that explanation won't make any sense when you wake up. But in a dream, everything that happens makes complete sense to you. And everything that happens is something that you expect to happen. Like, I always notice that when I wake up from a dream, the world kind of counteracts my expectations slightly. Like, I feel th this mess of, like, flesh and this weird, you know, like, feeling of blood flowing through my veins and, and muscles. And, like, I feel aches and, and, and pains because I guess I'm getting older. I don't know. But, like, it, it's all, like, it counteracts what I believe about that is true. And the world does that to you in real life. Whereas in a dream, if you think something's there, then it's there because there's no, nothing else to question it. So that's all I have to say for this episode of the Kokino Podcast. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you found it interesting. If you have any thoughts on how dreams work, please leave them in the comments. I would like to hear about that. Uh, I guess that's all I have to say. Goodbye, and I'll see you next time. <laughs>